What's going on guys, Simply Pipes here. And you recently launched your Twitter application. This is the last time you saw the old school Twitter. Now I'm seeing this trending now and it's called hashtag new Twitter. Everybody's talking about it, Keemstar, Speak Comedy, and this is the old version of Twitter right now. Now you woke up this morning or you launched your Twitter application and you got something like this. Now my Twitter application, this is Twitter 7.0. So yeah, I didn't get affected with the change yet. I just installed it on both devices and literally it's no change. So this is the, the latest version, 7.0 uh, and this is 7.64. So this is the older version of Twitter. This is a newer version of Twitter and you guys can see I'm not affected yet, but maybe they might get me tomorrow, who knows. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade back into the oops. So if you're jailbroken, if you have a jailbroken device, I'm going to show you guys how to do it for non-jailbroken users, but I am just want to get the jailbroken stuff out the way. Um, if you have Cydia installed on your device, you tap on Cydia, and you have to add this source right here. So I throw a link in the description, or maybe on screen, beta.unlimitedapps, and you're literally going to install um, App Admin. So App Admin, you can downgrade any iOS apps to the previous version. You can literally launch the App Store, search up Twitter, and tap and hold. Let me see, tap and hold, and it'll come up with these options right here. So it's going to say, what would you like to do? You can downgrade. And now the version that worked for me is 6.4. So it's this version right here, you guys can see. And then that's it, you downgraded Twitter. Let's say you're not jailbroken. So if you're not jailbroken, no problem. You will need a computer. And you know it's odd, guys. They did got me on the, the desktop version of Twitter. So I can see what the new design kind of looked like on my desktop. But it just didn't get me on my iOS device, which is a little bit weird. So not everybody have the, the new Twitter. If you're one of those people, then you're lucky. Non-jailbroken users, follow this guide right here. So first up, you want to uninstall the new Twitter application. So, alright, so you put it in wiggle mode. You tap and hold an icon. You tap on the X. Alright, and then you delete it. This will work for anybody. Um, with an iOS device. So once you delete the Twitter application, all right, you want to download this. This is called Cydia Impactor. Cydia Impactor will allow you to sideload IPAs and it works like a charm, trust me. What you want to do is you want to install the IPA for Twitter. So in my case, I have 6.73. So I have that version installed. All I got to do is click and drag. All right, so you want to click and drag. Let's put that to the side. And then it's gonna prompt up with this. So you need to enter in your Apple ID. All right, let me turn off my Flux. My Flux just turned on. This is going through the Apple server. So what it's gonna do is it needs your Apple ID to sign the applications. So when you get to this screen right here, entering your password, if you have a two, um, two step authentication, you must go into the Apple website. So let me show you guys real quick. This is the Apple site. So appleid.apple.com, um, you're gonna have this screen right here. Now I have the camera so close because it's showing a lot of sensitive information. You wanna click on generate password. And then once you put in your password, it come up with a generated password. So all you're doing, you copy and pasting it into Cydia Impactor and you click on okay. So I entered it wrong, so I gotta try again. Okay, so I got it this time. All right, so now any prompts you see, make sure you allow it. Let me minimize that. So allow it and make sure your device is still connected. Do not do anything while signing the application. Normally don't take that long time, but Twitter pops up right there. So before you even launch Twitter, you're gonna have to go into settings, general, okay, profiles, tap on your Apple ID and make sure you tap on trust. So once you do that, you have the older version of Twitter. The only problem with this method, literally, you have to perform this step um, repeatedly every seven days. So keep that in mind. Okay, allow. Oh, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> and trust me, this will work for everybody. Yes, this device is jailbroken, but trust me, it works for any iOS device. I think everybody's gonna have the Twitter application because look at the Instagram app. Let me go into Instagram real quick. So take a look at the Instagram app. You, I just hated this design when it first came out, but eventually everybody have it. Very, very rare you'll see everybody using this application, using this version of Instagram. Once Instagram started introducing the live feature so you can watch 
everybody's feeds. So this is Phase Rug. Um, this is my buddy. That's Stacy. So you know you can see what people are doing, but you can't do that on the older Instagram app. You can't, and you can't even go live too as well. So I think Twitter is gonna do something like that. They're gonna introduce a feature. And it's only going to be available for that new update. So eventually, everybody's going to have that new update eventually. But if you still want to, if you're stuck in the times, this is, this video is right for you, basically. And also, ladies and gentlemen, you can install iFunbox. iFunbox will allow you to install apps or IPAs. Very, very easy. Um, once you connect your iDevice. So I'm going to connect my iPhone 6 real quick so you guys can see. Now I'm having a little bit of problems. Maybe you won't bump into the same problem like me. Um, so let me close out iTunes. We don't need iTunes open. And yeah, you can also install the app like that. I'm having a little bit of problems. You guys can try it, but it just didn't work for me. So yeah, so that pretty much concludes this video, guys. Um, I try the best I can to show you guys how to downgrade back into the old retro. I guess you could say retro now. Not really retro, but the classic look of the um, Twitter. I really don't like this new design at all. So hopefully you find this video helpful. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. It's much appreciated. So thank you guys so much. The support is just, it, we going so fast. We're growing so fast. And I just thank you guys so much for um, all the support lately. I really do love you guys. We are on the road to 8K subscribers.